Thank you, Jenny and Evan. And starting today, all Americans 16 and older now eligible for the COVID vaccine. This comes as we've reached a milestone. We're also getting a better idea about what's next for the Johnson and Johnson shot. News 8's Chris Grow joining us live from Chula Vista with a closer look at all this uh, positive news here. Good to hear, Chris. A lot of positive news, so a lot to unpack here. And let's start with the fact that we now know that about 50% of those eligible for the vaccine in this country have gotten at least one dose. That is great news, which likely could lead to a drop off in the infection rate. Something we're still waiting on, something that Dr. Anthony Fauci recently commented on. Take a listen. You know, I think it's going to come down soon if we do two things. One that I'm sure we'll be able to do is to continue the really very fine rate of vaccination where we're vaccinated between three and four million people per day. But the other wild card in this is to be making sure that until we get to that point, we don't pull back on public health measures because we're having between 60 and 70,000 new infections per day. And it would really... I th think not be prudent at all to declare victory prematurely and pull back. And so how do we get to that astonishing number there? 50% of the population receiving one dose of the vaccine. Well, according to the CDC, nearly 130 million people, 18 or older, have received that first dose. And that number likely to go up now that every American adult will now be eligible to get the vaccine. And those uh, in Oregon, Massachusetts, and New Jersey, all eligible now because they've opened up their availability for all adults to meet President Joe Biden's deadline trying to get all uh, those eligible there to be vaccinated. Now, of course, a big part of this is going to be vaccine availability, not just eligibility. A potential problem here is the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, that one-shot dose. It was paused nationwide because of six cases of rare but dangerous blood clots. Dr. Fauci believes we'll know more about what will happen with J&J &J by the end of this week. Well, I don't know if there have been further cases, but we will know that by Friday. And I would be very surprised, Margaret, if we don't have a, a resumption in some form by Friday. A decision almost certainly will be made by Friday. And for the Pfizer vaccine and the Moderna vaccine, there is a little bit of a difference there in eligibility in terms of age. Pfizer has been approved for those 16 years uh, and older. And for Moderna, it's 18 and older. So important to make sure you know that before scheduling your vaccine appointment.